Hello everybody, I'm just with the Gamer Street. Welcome to Pokemon Dark Energy. Now that Pokemon Mirage Tales is over, I decided to start up the new project. This game was created by Misky91. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Welcome to Pokemon Dark Energy. You're currently playing Beta 4.1. If you download the hack somewhere else other than Skip it to Inc. or Poke Community. Check either one of those sites for possibly updated versions before continuing. But without long talks, I just hope you have a fun time playing the hack. Creator Misky91. But before getting the game started, would you adjust the clock settings first? What time is it? It is 12... 28. Thank you, almighty god, for having us set the time. Hello there, I am Professor Oak, one of the most known researchers, apparently known researchers, at the university. Now that you have some free time from studying, I'd like to talk to you about a special quest I have in mind. But as you're not the only one I'll inform about this, get here first and we can begin. There are some things you should know before you come, however. Species just like this are called Pokemon. Yes, yes they are. People have many different ways of using Pokemon. Not everyone is as friendly as we are. In fact, there are criminals who use their Pokemon for evil purposes. Yes, and they look like superheroes in this! Here's a guy that belongs to Team Darkness. Slash Superhero. A recently formed organization that has been causing trouble all over the world. So far, we haven't found out what they're trying to do, though. Hoo-ha! But let's see! Darn! I can't recall your name yet! Would you mind telling me your name again? Well, it's not Vance, it's not Narsh, it's not Cactus. It's... Tej! T-I-E-G-E, -E, please! Right! You're Tej, a 19-year-old boy studying in the Technical University of the Capital. Anyways, as I like to said earlier, you should come right away. I'll explain the details when you get here. East year 1571. East Sweden? Sweden! Confirmed. What? Oh, for does anyone in this town knock anymore? Nope. Excuse me, but are you Mr. Bronton? Or Burton? I certainly am. And who might you be? I am... Maximum! Well, Maximum, what business do you have coming here uninvited and not knocking? Mr. Burton, I hear you are one of the richest people of, of all of Sweden. Yes, yes I am. But though my house still does not look rich enough, I need more shit. I know something that might prove your interest. I'm listening. I love to spend my money. Have you ever heard of a set of sacred treasures called the Elemental Orbs. There are five of these precious orbs in existence, all scattered through the region. Of course, region, not world. If any of them were found, you could make millions just by selling on the black market. So, you see, Mr. Burton, I want you to become my benefactor, one who can offer funds required to seek out these incredible treasures what do you say? Sign on the dotted line, that could be all yours. Thanks, but no thanks. All, for all I know, you could be spending millions on a myth. I'd be unwise for me to risk my money on something I don't even know exists. I assure you, these orbs exist. The dotted line still remains. Hmm, <laughs> really? Still, I won't be your beneficiary. It's just that I'm not sure I could trust you either. You just best be off. As you wish. It's just a darn shame, though. But if you're not interested in researching or investigating in a potential profit, I'll look for someone who is. Teleportation powers activate. Ugh. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Burton, but I'll be on my way. Or knockout powers activate. Wait. I'll do it. I'll be your benefactor. Oh. What changed your mind? I saw a strange light and I blacked out. In a sudden, I felt like... I felt like something in my mind popped back into place. How strange. Truly. I don't even know why, but this is how I want it to be. Ha ha ha. This was just too easy. 
But say, Maximum, how shall we begin? Well, first we need to hire some men for the job, and then we... So, what do you think? What shall we call this a brand new organization of ours? How about Team Hunter? No, no, no. That'd be ridiculous. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm, Team... Darkness, it is. Around a year later, southern the edge of the capital. I better be going to see the professor. I can't let him wait too long. Well, I guess it's time to head to the city and the university then. And there's no items in our box, of course. This book is that covers information you should know before starting to play. None of the above, because I don't like either. It's a TV, obviously. It's your Evie! Seems like it's sleeping, but I want to take it! Evie! Hey, where are you going? You can't leave without me, where are you? I don't know what's going on. To be up, and it can't be anything minor. You have to come along. I'm coming either way. Fine, you may come. Cool! I get to meet your professor and everything else that you're studying with. I received Evie. Giving Evie a nickname? Huh. What should be the nicknaming theme of our glorious game known as Dark Energy? Hmm. One second as I think about a naming scheme. I decided that I'm going to use the Fast Name Generator Pokemon Name Generator and randomly generate Pokemon names for our team. So, let me see one second. Alrighty, we are on the page. So let's generate our first Pokemon name. Don't like it. Uh, let me refresh the page. Rhinema? Meda? Krotos? Maybe we won't use this. I don't like any of the names it's generating. Uh, well then... Oh. Hmm, what to do then? What to do, what to do, what to do? I guess I'll think about it. Why not, since we've... Since this game is based on elemental stones, we should name them after maybe elements of the earth? You know, like cobalt and, you know, elements that are within the earth. Bronze, copper, iron, tin, stuff like that, maybe. Huh. I'll have to look up some names then. So I guess our Eevee's name will be Cobalt, I guess. So C O L B A L T. Nope. C O no, it's not C O L. It's C O. B A L T, there we go. Cobalt. I'm going to put you inside your Pokeball now. Kindly stay there, okay? And with that, we got Cobalt the Eevee. That's an item. Let's check him out. Status type normal, tackle tail up growl. Strength, defense, spirit, intellect, and speed. That's interesting stats. What are you holding? Oh, took a berry. Should have guessed. Alright, we'll give Cobalt back the berry. Hi, Cheech! Hi, Dad! I just got a call from the professor. He said he has some special quest in mind and wants you to get moving to the university. You better eat before you leave, though. Would you like me to cook something for you? Sure. There's always time for bites. Okay, I'll go make you something. Hi, Cheech! There's something I'd like you to have before you leave. Mom bought some Pokeballs and Pokegear for both of us. Here's yours. I received the Pokegear and five Pokeballs. Yay! Thanks, sister. Don't mention it. But now, I'd like you to have some private time watching TV. Sure thing. Now she's watching TV. Here's the meal ready to eat. Come and pick it up if you like. Okay, cool. Yay, we've eaten. Now we can leave. This is the House of Teej. The only problem is, though, this game does not have running shoes. <laughs> this game is going to be very slow. Very slow of a game, because the speed-up button really distorts the sound. Oh, apparently... The door is locked! Well, no shit. 
Guard is sleeping. Guard, wake up! Useless. You can try asking people at the southern edge to help you wake up the guard. That guard is sleeping on duty, and what's worse, the door to Capitol's locked. You could try to wake him up or wait until he's done with his nap. What do we have to do? Asking people at the southern edge to help wake up the guard. Alright, let's go do that. Can't even go on our adventure because we can't go out of the gate. Hard to say, really. I'll try asking someone else for help. Worthless boy. Help me, man! I can use an app myself! Damn it! Help me! Sorry, I don't think I have anything that would work in that kind of situation. You're useless, too! People! Help me, please! You! Huh? Something for waking up a sleeping guard? I have no idea. Useless! All the women, help me, please! What? My boy is sleeping on duty and won't wake him up. That's how it is. Take the ener take this energy tab and make him eat it. That should bring him back to the world of the living. I received the energy tab. There's grass here. Where you can find rot attacks. Cool. Oh god. I'm starting to miss running shoes. Teej made the guard eat the energy tab. Huh? Huh? Sorry, I must have fallen asleep. No kidding. I had a strange dream. I felt it felt so real. I dreamed that there was this room. I walked in a door and closed it. The door is actually locked, idiot. What? Well, that's weird. I received the key. I put the key in my key item department. Yay! Teej used the key to open the locked door. Woohoo! Hey, jogging helps the weight. But far, so far, no result. Yeah, you don't look. There's a Pokemon Center. Pokemon Mart. This must be the university. Big building, makes sense, right? I'm so proud of this university. It's the one of the most advanced in the world, and many of our graduates work aboard for, as great scientists. I don't want to be a scientist, but a lot. Mr. Mime! Studying with my partner makes so much fun than studying alone. We found a fastball? Free items already! Yay for free items! Classroom of boringness. Uh, 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 there he is! Uh, we're finally here! In a cutscene! Yay! Teej, it's about time you got here. What took you so long, anyways? I had some problems with the self gate and stuff. Oh, I see. Hey, Teach! Hi there! Give a name to this young fellow? Yeah, it's gonna be... Not if he's our friend. If not, then I'm gonna regret this. So what brings you here? I'm not sure, actually. Professor just called me, and I came here immediately. I have a feeling we're gonna find out soon, though. Okay, boys, let's get this party started! This is... This is going to sound strange, but I have a mission for you two. Recently... A couple of archaeologists of this university made a great discovery in the East Sweden. So we're in Sweden. Cool. They discovered an old text written inside the Rocky Mountain. That text tells things about the elemental orbs. However, by now, they only figured out a bit of it. What we know about these orbs, they were created around a thousand years ago, and that they exist when the crisis took place. Both have... You both heard about it, right? Yeah! Not long since I wrote an essay about it. You wrote an essay? Really, Matt? Frick you! Great, I guess I don't have to explain it then. Around a thousand years ago, there was a big war. Many cities were demolished and millions of people were killed. But I don't believe in that story anymore. It has to be the most horrible destruction caused by some other reason. The elemental orbs have definitely something to do with it. TJ Matt, I want you two are the most smartest guys around. Yeah! I agree to that. And I want you to meet our archaeologists in South Sweden and start searching for these orbs so we can explore them. Perhaps the way we can finally unlock the secrets behind the crisis. Let's go, Shepford, shall we? Yeah! This is one adventure I'm not gonna miss! What? You just walk inside me? Huh, it's no big deal. How don't you ever play Final Fantasy games? Side characters often travel inside the main one, and they only appear during cutscenes. Well, I guess. Okay, so you're ready then. 
Oh, ready as I ever be. Fantastic! However, before I let you go, there's one thing that has to be done. Matt, walk inside me. That is scary. There's a device called a Pokedex, a device that records data for each Pokemon you see. I received the Pokedex! Thanks! It will be possible to insert data into a Pokemon that I've already owned or seen it. Of course! Oak, sir, Oak is currently inserting data. Please wait. Say a command. I've only seen a Raticat, though. It's done! Great! Okay, now you turn on your way. Good luck, I have faith in you. Really? All I have is... What? Does that mean you don't have a Pokemon, Matt? Oh, you're useless. Ooh. wonder what this machine does. Better not touch it. Oh, but I want to touch it. Alrighty. Hold on, just a minute! I forgot to mention that I ordered the shopkeeper of the mart to give you an item package for your journey. You gotta pick it up before you leave the city. Good luck, I'm counting on you, boys. Wow. Going on a journey like this will take a while, a long time if we just rock. Probably someone in the city knows a better way. A bike would be nice. So, that finishes off the first episode, everyone. We will see you next time. Bye.